What can you tell us? Well, we were called shortly after 9 o'clock this evening by the landlord of the, of the building in question. And it was a suspicious call, unknown what type of call it was. It, we, it appeared to be a burglary in progress to her. And upon further examination by patrol, we were able to determine that we have a uh, deceased male in the uh, facility, in the uh, building. Is it Brogan Dully? We believe so. We have the coroner here, and, and we are, obviously she is going to speak to that, but we are uh, pretty certain, or we would not be here talking to you, that it is uh, Brogan Dully. Does it appear suspicious? At this point, obviously he's been missing for seven days. So we think it appears at this point, emphasis on it appears right now to be self-inflicted. Why now? I know searchers have been looking all week, canvassing Clifton everywhere, surrounding areas, and it, it, why today after they've looked everywhere that he's just been I, found in this building next door? Absolutely. Did they miss something? Absolutely. Very fair question. What we believe happened, the building has been secure, and we had a person come to the building today, so we certainly have searched the exterior of this building extensively. That needs to be uh, duly noted, that we have, wa we have walked around the the perimeter of this facility. We have not seen any sight of him, and nor have any of the searchers, the search party, the external search party. However, upon going inside into the building, we did discover. I, I think the it would substance. have been. I think it would have been a difficult place for somebody to discover him um, without actually being inside the building uh, where where he was found. So. Perimeter-wise, I don't think you would have seen any indication that somebody was in the building. Doctor, what are you seeing? I know it's early. You have a lot of work to do, but what can you tell us uh, as, as to a manner of death? Um, I agree with the chief that right now we don't have any evidence of suspicious activity or um, anything to indicate that it may be a homicide, but we won't be ruling that out just yet. We have a lot of work to do, as you said. Uh, we will be, we're looking at all the circumstances. The lighting isn't very good in the building right now, so we really have to um, get the deceased back to our office and take a look and what, see if we can get some more information. Was the building an estimate of when, how long he might have been in the building before you found him? The, I can speak to the building. The, the building is vacant. It's being uh, rehabbed at the current time, and the landowner or landlord uh, came to the building today and noticed a suspicious uh, occurrence, which prompted the call to us shortly after 9 p.m. And we, we responded and immediately were able to determine that we had a deceased male in the building that appears to be from a self-inflicted uh, act. What part of the building was this, and you said? We don't want to talk about any of that. We can just leave it at the fact that it was in the building. I do want to say that we are very appreciative of not only our internal people, that worked on this for seven days, but there have been literally thousands of individuals throughout the uh, greater Cincinnati area and throughout the nation who have been canvassing and holding out hope and, and actively searching for this individual. And we do want to thank them for their efforts. Chief, you mentioned self-inflicted. What evidence or what points in that direction? Well, we can, we can affirmatively say that at this point, but we don't want to talk about specifics at this at this juncture, what and I'm sure a, the uh, coroner would echo that. What about a note? Was there a note or any kind of message? We don't have any indication of any of that at this point. This is We wanted to come and brief you because we knew this was something that you would want to know about, but we don't want to go into uh, detail about any of those uh, issues at this point. I think, Chief, I think thank it's you very much. early to, to go into a lot of the details just yet. I mean, the circumstances under which we found him um, and manner and the cause of death. Those are all things that we will be discussing later. And we'll, we'll keep you apprised of any, uh, any additional information. Has he been in the building long? It would be commensurate with the time that he'd been missing. Has the family been notified? He has, has been notified. Okay, Rob, 